Oh man, got a flat tyre. Punctures can and eventually will happen, even if you run tubeless tyres. So always make sure you have a tube and a pump, especially if you're getting out into the wilds a bit. Also, you don't want to be that guy in a group ride who has to rely on others. <laughs> you got a flat. You got a pump or a tube? No. You got a flat tyre as well. Oh, you're joking. Don't worry, it's only flat at the bottom. Bonking is the term we tend to use. It is that horrible feeling of you completely running out of gas. If you have never done it before, it can feel like you have just worn yourself out completely on the ride, but it is just down to not fueling for the ride sufficiently. It feels like you could literally eat the entire house bare of food. Yes, unexpected mechanicals do happen, and it can just be a bit of bad luck. But if it happened because you haven't checked your bike over from the last ride, then that is very frustrating. You got any brake pads, Mark? Try and get into a good routine of giving your bike a clean if it needs it after the ride, but at the very least, a quick check over so you aren't left disappointed out on the trail on the next ride. Have you got a good signal? Uh, no, I just really enjoy being out in the woods. I mean, really nice trail then, there's some really sweepy berms, you go up high, slide a bit, it's a nice jump, it's just like a really nice mellow trail down here. I really enjoy it. What are you doing? Spend the whole time chasing Strava comms. Strava can be a lot of fun. I use it occasionally to really push myself for training and also for challenging myself on the downhill trails. But don't let it become an, the obsession that has to rule every ride. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like the flow of that trail, it's so much fun. <sighs> I'm doing it again. Uh, all right, see you later. I'm just riding. <laughs> Crashing happens to all of us, but the best way to avoid it happening all the time is learning some skills. Why not watch our videos and work out which areas you need to improve on? Also, if you're pushing yourself or riding gnarly terrain, seriously consider wearing some pads. I cringe when I watch people flying down rocky terrain with no knee pads. Group rides are a lot of fun, but they can also be intimidating, especially to the slower riders. When we get to this fence, we'll have a nice rest. I promise you, this is, this is the last brow, the last bit of work you have to do. Come on now. You told me it was downhill half a mile ago. If you are one of the quicker ones, take it on yourself to make sure everyone is part of the ride. Don't charge off on the climbs and wait for slower riders in the group to catch up. Just past this brow, I promise. Oh God, it's like, it's just not very steep and it's all loose. Moaning. We all ride mountain bikes for fun, well most of us anyway. Yes, it might be cold, wet, boggy, but a bad ride could still be a lot of fun. A positive mental attitude will get you a long way. Oh, Neil, not this one, it's too steep. I think the future is 1x12, but I don't want to upgrade now. It's just, I'll just wait. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm as bad as everybody else. Us mountain bikers always seem obsessed with the latest, greatest tech. Tires, wheels, sizes, suspension. You name it. We can talk about the finer details for hours and debate why something is good or not before we have even tried it. They feel like 777s seven, seven, seven to me, but 778 is what I really like, but they're nice grips, isn't they? I always carry my phone during a ride for emergencies and to take the occasional photo, believe the Instagram, phone calls and checking Strava to after the ride. All right, mate, how's it going? Yeah, I'm just on a ride with Mark, yeah. Oh, I know, yeah, there's no one else who wanted to come riding. So, Who answers uh, the phone when they're bloody riding? Christ. It's all right, I'm on hands free, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, it's great, yeah, it's a bit dry, but... Nobody likes a show off. Well, actually, they do like it when they fail like that. But make sure that that's not you. If you want to see more videos from GMBN, you can click up here for our top 10 excuses. And you can click down here, here, for how to do rolling endos, Neil.
I better click down there, I reckon. And obviously, click on me and Neil to subscribe to GMBN.